So today we'll be having a look at a product that I've received a lot of requests to unbox. This is the MSI 870A Fusion, Fusion Military Class Motherboard. This is for multi-GPU computing and let's talk first and foremost a little bit about Fusion technology. It is powered by the Lucid Hydra. I forget exactly what the chip is called, but it's powered by a Lucid Hydra chip. And what that is, is it's kind of like a PCI Express bridge chip, but there's actual logic built into it that allows you to run not only multi-GPU with uh, two Radeon cards or multi-GPU with two GeForce cards, but unlike SLI and Crossfire, you can actually run uh, non-matching cards and still get a performance boost and you can even run one Radeon card with one GeForce card and still get a performance boost. So one of the things, uh, here we go, here we go. So let's uh, let's show you the relevant information while I talk about this a little bit more. So there's end mode which is NVIDIA only. Okay, so you can see that they're they're talking about like if you have one higher end GPU versus maybe you've got an older GPU and you want to just throw in another one to get a bit of a performance boost, how much of an increase you can get. There's A mode, which is ATI only, so you can run two ATI cards, even if they don't match, non-identical VGA processing, any level of VGA combinations up to 33% performance boost, and then there's X mode. So that means you can actually run a Radeon card with a GeForce card and play 3D games, which is pretty far out there. So in terms of other features that are MSI exclusive, you've got their military class, that means they've got their uh, high C cap, icy choke, solid caps, all of that good stuff for durability. They've also got support for their OC Genie, as well as core unlocking, and they've got some full support for USB 3.0 and SATA 6 gigabit per second. So it has all the latest <laughs> features, but let's have a look at the board itself and see how cool it looks. It is pretty expensive for an 870A board, but these features cost money. The Hydra chip costs money, I'll tell you that much. This is a SATA 6 gigabit per second cable, rather two of them, a Molex to SATA power adapter. All right, next we have some SATA 3 gigabit per second cables, two of them, as well as a Molex to SATA power adapter. Now, please bear in mind, there is no physical difference between those cables other than the color. They will both work just fine regardless of Yes. Okay, so here we have the multi-GPU computing technology driver. Then we have the regular drivers and utilities. Download the latest from the MSI website. We have a quick installation guide, a manual for their control center software, as well as a user guide for the 870A Fusion. Next we have some easy front panel connectors, the uh, M connector, not to be confused with Q connector, as well as an IO shield. Then we have... Uh, Cameraman wants to see something over there. I'm not sure why. He wants to see the M connector. Okay, he didn't get a good look at that in the first place. So I'm gonna start unboxing the motherboard while cameraman zooms in on his there. Enough of that M connector. And you can see there's uh, using, wow, very secure packaging. Look at that, you've got like a half inch of cardboard around this board on every side. They really don't want these things to break in shipping, I'll tell you that much. All right. Here it is, the 870A Fusion. So here it is, a sticker for auto overclocking, OC Genie, as well as a sticker for military class, long lifetime, higher stability, better overclocking. This is all good stuff. And let's have a look at the overall physical layout of the board. This is a very unique looking board and partly due to the uh, unique branding on it. So you can see right there is the MSI Multi-GPU Computing. That's uh, an X, I guess presumably for X mode, which is when you're running NVIDIA and ATI cards together if you weren't paying attention earlier. Now let's, uh, yeah, let's do the overall layout. Okay, so we've got our 8-pin power connector up in the top left in its ideal location. You can see the PWM is covered by a fairly small heatsink but given that they are using military class components which do run cooler according to MSI's marketing materials uh, that should be all that's necessary. We've got our AM3 CPU socket so you've got full support for all the latest AMD processors including their six cores and that means that you also have support for dual channel DDR3 up to 16 gigs of RAM can be inserted into these slots over here on the right. Your 24 pin power connector is in its ideal location along the right hand edge of the board and then you can see that down a little bit further, we've got all of our SATA ports. So the black ones are going to be SATA 2, 3 gigabit per second. And these white ones right here are going to be SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. The south bridge right here 
is uh, covered by a little heat sink that's uh, probably not doing a whole lot. And then under here is where the magic happens. So there's your north bridge as well as the Lucid Hydra chip. So I believe so, actually. I'm not 100% sure that the Hydra chip's under there, but I'm like 99% sure that it's down there somewhere. I can't verify it one way or the other. In terms of expansion slots, we have two PCIe 16X slots. And while I wish I could say it was as simple as these are SLI ready or they're Crossfire ready or they're not ready for anything, these are ready for uh, any number of different things. Now the 870A chipset, natively supports Crossfire, so I'd imagine you can run them in regular Crossfire mode, or you can take advantage of that Lucid Hydra fusion technology that is integrated into this board. Other expansion slots include two PCIe 1X slots, one PCI slot, and then you've got support for a whole bunch of one, two, up to four front USB connectors, front Firewire, as well as front audio, right there. You have one uh, auxiliary uh, PCIe 6 pin connector, so I guess if you're plugging in a couple really beefy GPUs, you'd want to go ahead and populate that. And then here you have an internal USB 3.0 port. This is smart, because since most case manufacturers are implementing USB 3.0 with just an internal USB connector, boom, just plug it in there and you're done. So instead of running, a, like, most of them they're making you route a cable around the back, out the back of the board, out the back of the case, and then into the back of the motherboard on the I.O. panel, but MSI is saving you the trouble. Here on the back we've got two PS2 ports, one mouse, one keyboard, a clear CMOS switch. I love this. This is one of my personal favorite features. I love it. And then we've also got six USB 2.0 ports, digital audio out in optical as well as coaxial flavors. Firewire, Gigabit Ethernet, one USB 3.0 port. Remember, the other one is there's a bug on the uh, motherboard box and the cameraman's gotten distracted. <clears throat> Remember, the other USB 3.0 port is inside for connection to front USB. Then we have 7.1 audio out and not a whole lot to talk about on the back of the motherboard. Although, I can probably verify... Oh, I'm not going to take that sticker off. Okay, if I could check the traces here, I'd be able to verify if the Hydra chip's down there. I believe it is, though. Yeah. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the 870A Fusion from MSI.